Hello everyone, uh, I am Neha Nanwal and I am uh, one of the faculty of Delhi University. Uh, we, we all are reading newspaper and recently uh, there is a news that US and India opposing new SDR allocation. So today I am going to talk about it that what is SDR and why India and US are opposing it. So with the emergence of COVID-19 pandemic there is a huge and severe impact on economic activity across globe and if we see the recent data of IMF that is world economic outlook uh, the global economy is expected to be fall by 3% uh, in 2020 so which clearly indicate that it this is going to be a worst recession since uh, great depression and definitely this is also going to be a far worse than a global financial crisis of 2008. So basically what happened after hit by the pandemic around 102 countries have approached IMF for emergency fund uh, due to the balance of payment crisis and in, 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 in this response the IMF managing director uh, um, had uh, floated a move to allocate new SDR. Of course this, this move has has to clear motive first to boost the liquidity of member nations and second to enable them to pay uh, their payment obligations. So in order to review the process of allocation of around 500 uh, billion SDR international monetary and financial committee met virtually in the basically in the last week of uh, April uh, but this whole move is clearly and totally banned or blocked or opposed by US and India. So the question comes why they are opposing it. But before uh, before talking pa about the opposing part, I think it's equally important to talk about what is SDR. So uh, to understand SDR, we first need to talk about what IMF quota is. So. Uh, uh, currently, IMF has 189 members and it came into existence in 1945 uh, with, the, with the agenda or with the objective of uh, managing uh, international financial crisis. So, any country uh, which, which is uh, joining the IMF is assigned an initial quota. Uh, the quota basically determines the amount or financial resources which country has to give to the IMF. Uh, of course, this is a main source of funding for IMF. Secondly, the, the quota, the amount of quota depends upon the financial and economic background of a member country in the world. And thirdly and lastly, uh, the percentage of quota for a country is uh, calculated on the basis of four factors. And these four factors are GDP openness, uh, economic variability and last but not the least uh, international reserve. Again there is certain weights are assigned to them uh, for example GDP has assigned a weight of 50% similarly uh, openness ha has a weight of 30% and uh, international reserves and economic variability has a weight of 5 and 15%. So the 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 formula for calculating a quota is nothing but it's it's a very simple formula that is the submission of weight uh, multiplied by the factors. Again, this, this formula is mentioned in the comment box uh, for more clarification. Uh, okay, now what happened? The IMF reviewed this quota after uh, after regular interval which is not never uh, can be less than 5 years. So, uh, additionally, uh, in this, the amount of borrowing uh, which the country can do from the IMF is uh, totally depend upon this quota. Um, also, their voting power is also depend upon this quota. So, so there are two basic things which are uh, depend upon this quota. First, the amount of borrowing which can country do it from IMF and second, the voting power. Both are depend upon the quota which is... Uh, uh, which is again uh, calculated on the basis of whole formula and so on. Okay, uh, now how SDR and quotas are related? So basically, uh, quotas are denominated in the SDR and members are allocated SDR in the proportion of 
their quota. So uh, these two terms are related in the, this terms that on the basis of their quota they are that they are allo uh, allocated some SDR also like. So the total uh, quota fund is uh, around 477 billion SDR out of which the U US has highest quota of 17.46% uh, that is uh, around uh, 82,994 million SDR. Similarly, India has 8th highest quota uh, of 2.76% uh, which is again equal to 13,114 million SDR. Now, uh, now come to the part of SDR. So, SDR is an international uh, reserve asset which is uh, created by a, a IMF in 1969 to supplement the foreign exchange reserve to its uh, members nation. It is uh, also serve as a unit of account which means all IMF transactions are uh, denoted in SDR. Thirdly, the value of SDR is depend upon the uh, basket of five currency of a five countries and these countries are US dollar, then euro, then uh, Chinese uh, renminbi, which is uh, included in 2015. Uh, then it also includes cha Japanese yen. And last but not the least, uh, it includes uh, that is British pound sterling also. So uh, it's also, okay, it's very crucial to note that uh, SDR is neither a currency nor it's a claim on IFM, IMF. Uh, so basically it's simply uh, denote or serve as a unit of account and can be exchanged for uh, these five currencies. Uh, so if I have to conclude, so quota, uh, quota determines the allocation of a SDR, uh, which further determine the borrowing capacity of a member's nation. So this is all about quota and SDR. Okay, now why India and US are opposing this new allocation of SDR. So very clearly US opposed it and they are stating that 70% of the funds generated through this new SDR allocation uh, would uh, go into G20 countries and uh, while only 3% of the fund would go to uh, low income countries and therefore IMF should explore some other uh, facility to help the poor nation. Similarly, India is also like opposing it. Uh, they believe that it might not be effective. It was also a concern that it might be used for extra nicious purpose. That is uh, something not related to the purpose of domestic monetary and financial stability and hence India is totally in against of it. So what is the future map ahead for us? So now if the member uh, had approved this new SDR allocation by minimum 85% right, so definitely, definitely going to uh, provide additional supplement for an exchange reserve to its member nation. Uh, if we talk about till now, uh, around 25 countries uh, have been provided 5.54 uh, billion SDR assistance by IMF uh, by some other facilities and uh, this further new SDR allocation definitely going to provide them with the supplement uh, funds. Uh, okay, then uh, I, I really want to add here one more point that uh, uh, it's, a, it's an important source of fund for the member nation because uh, they, they wouldn't have to repay uh, it uh, with interest so basically this is uh, uh, this is a debt free and unconditional type of funding for them and therefore they they always uh, helpful for the member countries so thank you for uh, uh, listening us uh, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel and if you have any comment any suggestion please mention in the chat